All right, guys, back. Uh, so, so I was looking at the money. Uh, we're down to sixty-three thousand, but the the upkeep is still it's flat. I thought it would have gone down by deactivating these over here. They're not running or anything like that, right? So I guess we'll just reactivate them and hopefully we make a little bit of money out of them, right? So I guess I'll just do that. So there you go, reactivate those. Uh, we're at about a hundred thousand dollars away from being able to get that T Rex incubated and whatnot, right? So yeah, see now we're losing seventeen, eighteen. Ah oh, man, yeah, maybe that's why. Uh, ninety-seven. Ah, uh, I don't know. Is that ah? Uh, yeah, see, okay, it might it might have gone down right there, and then now it's going right back up. Okay, yeah, I was I was wondering what that. Well, I'm I'm going to deactivate these again. <laughs> yeah, we lost a lot of money there, you guys. Golly, or at least we're we're starting to lose a lot of money, like seventeen, eighteen, nineteen thousand dollars from each one or whatever. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to risk that, you guys. Especially this close to the two million or like one point six nine six whatever million. Just need to wait another minute or something like that, or like thirty seconds. One point nine five three, and boom, nine six nine. Is that good? Is that it? Yep, boom, 1.964, okay, okay. Let's get, uh, sort by this, this, there you go. Okay, we can do it. We can do it now, you guys. We can incubate the T-Rex, find a heckin' Lee. That's all of our money down. We're down to $5,911. It's gonna be three minutes, 45 seconds, but I'm, I'm speeding through this, so it's gonna go by a little bit quicker, which is good. And, uh, I don't think it costs anything to move them, so I suppose we can start opening this up and maybe people, you know, start attracting people in this general area, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe, yeah, you know what? The T-Rex is going to attract him over here in the first place, right? So I don't, I don't need to do anything in that regard. But uh, that, that that's the mission right there. Synthesize, incubate, and release the following dinosaur T-Rex. Once we uh, once we airlift him, I think that should count as this mission being done. So that's going to be really good. I don't know what's going to be next. Is this is it going to be the end of the scenario? I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe maybe we're going to make another enclosure for the Lost Raptors or something like that. I don't know. I kind of want to see how many I actually have. How do I check that again? Dinosaurs. So how many Velociraptors do we have? We have only two Velociraptors. Ooh. Yeah, all, all the other ones just died of old age, I guess, huh? So they okay here? They need more? They need less? Oh, yeah, they're fine with two. Two is the minimum. Park rating and profit dropped by 7%, I think, right there. But yeah, uh, it, it's not that big of a deal. It's going to go up here in just a minute. So <laughs> let's just wait about 45, 40 seconds, and uh, we'll be good to go, you guys. All right, about 10 seconds left. Hopefully this T-Rex is going to save our heckin' park right now, because it's not doing too well. And boom! Alright, let's get him released via airlift. Okay. Take him out to here, and... Boom! Place him down in the middle there. And... Transfer transfer team is picking him up out of the hatchery right now. Let's see what let's see how big he is right here. Oh! Sabotage gate failure! Oh my gosh, hold on, pause! Pause the game, yeah, they said something about sabotage a minute ago. Now someone just opened up the gates over here. It's the gates. All the gates are open. Do something! Quickly! This is bad. The dinosaurs have access to the entire park. And to the guests. Is this a malfunction? A problem somewhere in your security code? We're trying to get as much information as possible. I don't understand all those damn lines and numbers. And programmers don't get me started. It appears to be sabotage. Perhaps an inside attack. We need to get the guests to the emergency shelters. Yes. Uh, oh, they stopped talking when I paused the game right there. <laughs> okay, open all shelters. Yeah, it makes sense. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Uh, of course. Our first priority is to get the animals back to the enclosures. It should be the safety of our guests by opening up our emergency shelters. With one, we get the other. Agreed? All right. I agree. Then see to it. Don't let our dream, my dream, be lost to history. Save the dinosaurs. Save the guests. And save Jurassic Park. Alright, looks like we're good here, you guys. I don't know why these guys are still danger to guests right here, but all, all the gates have been rebooted. Well, even with a few minor setbacks, Jurassic Park is thriving. This is in spite of the fact that there are those who would wish to see us fail. Or take our dinosaurs and our science for their own. What people experience at Jurassic Park is beyond calculation. Of that, there can be no doubt. Still, I think we can go higher and exceed our own expectations. We'll get the numbers up in attendance. More guests should improve our ratings. Yes, as will a higher species count. Together, we've brought dinosaurs into this world. Now, let's bring the world to the dinosaurs. Hmm. <laughs> That's such a cool way to put it. So, yeah, let's take care of the T-Rexes. Stuff so yeah, let's get some sand over here for him. Uh, wants a pretty good amount of sand. There you go. 
Yeah, once he discovered all of this, he's going to be good to go. Actually, hold on, what is that? Like a little pin icon right there. Is that what this is? That might be what this is, actually. Yeah, let's put some sand over here as well. Just around the little edge, a little rim right here. Yeah, I still want even more sand, and he wants prey, too, so let's, I've got to put heckin' feeders in here again, so. Storm power outage. Gate 3 has a power outage. Where is that at? Gate 7 has a... Wait, what? Huh? It will output notepad. Huh? I'm so confused. Didn't we fix those just a minute ago? It's still yelling at me right there. Okay, yeah, system restored right there. Okay. I guess it just got backed up with a bunch of uh, notifications right there and had to second, you know, catch up. So, anyways... Let's get the prey feeder over here, or uh, live bait feeder, whatever. Insufficient- wait, what? Oh, I have like no money right now, man. Alright, well, hopefully we start getting some money over here. Oh my gosh, we're losing so much money. We're losing so much money. Are the- are the- are, just, are they still open? Are people still going into them, or- what? They're, yeah, they're coming out, they're coming out, and we have another dead- oh my gosh, like every Velociraptor's dead now, you guys. Oh, and he's eating his dead- his dead friends getting eaten. <laughs> Golly, okay, well that's a lone Velociraptor right there, yeah, he's lonely now, yeah. We need to take care of him, he's gonna try and escape or whatever here in just a minute. Yeah, his comforts drop below 80%, he's, he's not gonna be very happy here, you guys. At least I have a little bit of money right now, so... Need to make the T-Rex a little bit more happy. I guess I'll do that while the game is paused, which is good. Yeah, he still wants even more sand, and uh, yeah, I need, to, I need to get that... Yeah, let's get the feeder here, prey feeder. Let's get that right about right there. Cool. Yeah, didn't I place it like right here? Yeah, I must have sold it whenever I uh, sold like everything, right? So there you go. Then uh, he wants some forest as well, which we have a little bit of money. We could do that. We could add a little bit of forest back here. Looks like he wants a lot of forest, actually. Golly. So let's add as much forest as we can. And oh, never mind. I'm out of money. I can't add even more. <laughs> so that sucks. Man. All right. Well, uh, oh, we're at 20. Okay, just have to wait for the money to start trickling in. So there you go. 38,000. Get even more trees. Get some uh, different variety here. So forest. Let's get some of these trees too. There you go. Boom. And maybe place some like this. There you go. And like this. And like this. Cool. All right. There you go. Cool. Is that 17% right now? Which is decent. Need to get more sand. I might just place more of it in the middle here. Place like a bunch of it in the middle, and then just I guess I guess what we could do is scatter around like we did with uh, copies just a minute ago. And get this and just kind of lip 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 lip. There we go. Yeah. I see a sand's at 5% right now, which is good. Just add a bunch of sand over here, like a giant heckin' sandbox. And 14%, okay, he's good, he's good. So get the, okay, there you go, got the 15%, which is great. And let's add even more trees around here. Yep. Yep. Oh, gosh, yeah, that's a giant thing right there of trees. Uh, boom. And another dead one is probably the, uh, the other Velociraptor, right? Wait, what is this? I don't know what that is right there. But, uh, okay, there you go, perfect for the T-Rex, that's good, nice. And he's in the middle of the path right there, <laughs> look at him. Okay, well, we need we need to take care of some stuff over here. Yeah, the lava swords is once again always injuring each other. Golly, I don't want to just get rid of. Like, I don't know if it's the same the lava swords is getting injured constantly or. Oh my god! Wait, what? Oh, that's what it was. He escaped. Golly. Ah oh, man, I thought it. They still didn't pick him up. What? Oh my gosh! I told them to pick him up and nothing happened. And the other Velociraptor immediately. Wait, what? No, stop tranquilizing the Lavasaurus, oh my gosh. There you go, boom. Oh my gosh. This is terrible, our park is just going down the drain. He's hunting down the humans and stuff over here. Don't zoom in on the heckin' cafe, zoom in on them. There you go, look at this, oh my gosh. He's about to nibble that butt right there. <laughs> oh no, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. He's chasing everyone around. These people in the hotel are just like, yeah, yeah, this is normal, yeah. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, well, at least it doesn't get, like, super violent. God, what? <laughs> like, that's as violent as get, which is still violent. He's rampaging this stuff over here. I might just get rid of him. I might just get rid of him. Maybe, I don't know, put the T-Rex in his enclosure or something? I don't know. Golly. Knock him out! Do I have to do it? I might have to do it. Oh, he's resting. He's literally sitting still and you can't get him. You kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh. Okay, okay. You know what? Golly. Direct control. Okay. Wait, stop spinning. Stop moving. Aim mode. Here we go. Boom. Oh, I missed now. <laughs> there we go. I got a hit right there. Okay. I just need to get one hit. He's about to get knocked out. Yep. Yeah, boom. Okay, good, good, good. Let's get out of there. All right, nice. Okay, now we can open up the stuff again. Close all shelters in the heckin'... Why are the rangers fix the hole? You you not see that giant hole right there? You just just ran through or whatever? Yeah, now I'm out of cash again, golly. Now I can't fix that hole. Are you kidding me? 
Oh my gosh. Well, it doesn't matter because there's nothing in here. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't, yeah, I didn't even get, yeah. Hit. Oh, can I, I can't sell them? What? No, don't, yeah. It's not letting me sell them for some reason. Uh, I'm confused. Yeah, it's not letting me, I don't know, put them in the same thing as the T-Rex then. There you go. To Going to die here soon anyways. Oh, storm warning. Well, now we're losing even more money. Oh my gosh. Okay, all shelters open again. Golly, this is so bad. This is so bad. This is even worse than before, you guys. We're already negative and the storm hasn't even started yet. Structure's damaged already. Dilophosaurus is still injured and stuff. He's probably just going to die or something like that here pretty soon. Jeez. Ah, oh, man. At least all the, all the emergency shelters are open. And our money's actually still got- what? I'm making money right now? I'm not complaining. <laughs> are we selling stuff inside the emergency shelter or something like that? I hope so. Okay, is it- is it over? Did it pass? I think it did. Okay, okay. Let's open up the emergency shelter again. Okay, cool. There you go. Good. Good. Alright. So, hopefully we're gonna- we didn't lose too much money right there, right? Uh, just need to wait until we get back into the green with our money. And then, uh, we'll- oh yeah, see, look at that. We're getting- we're- yeah, see, look at that. Nice. Not bad. And then we need to repair this, repair that, and repair that, and I don't know. Let that other lava source just die or something like that. I don't know. Like, uh, golly. Yeah, everyone start running. Start running and spending your money. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I need I need to get the, I didn't even say this uh, whenever they were talking earlier. Reach the park rating of five stars. That's going to take forever. Increase total dinosaur species six out of ten. Uh, we need to get four more there. Like, we just lost one with the lava or uh, Oh, wait, no, the Velociraptor is actually, uh, he's still in the park. He's just basically gotten fed to the uh, for the to the T-Rex, right? Where is he? He's over here somewhere. T-Rex is roaring right now. I don't know if he's Is he warning the Velociraptor? Does he know the Veloc is the Velociraptor even over here yet? I don't know. I don't see him. Oh wait, yep. The, oh wait, no, it's a goat. It's hunting down the goat. I don't see anything happening right now. Oh, we got the goat right there. Oh, we got some epic heckin' music right there. What in the world was that? Music got so epic right there, you guys. That was insane. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I need I need to put a, a ranger status check thing over here. Which, by the way, I think aren't we able to make like multiple ranger things? Yeah, respond. You know what? Let's get a, another response facility over here. Golly, why did I not make make another one of these sooner? Jeez, there. That's going to make it so much easier to check up on these guys. There you go. I don't have to rely on just one response team, right? So that's good. And that's outside of bounds of the uh, of the thing over there. So I need to get the power over here. So. uh pylon let's get this and yes it's just like right outside of range there unfortunately so that sucks uh, let's put it like right there i guess that's not that big of a deal and then connect it up like so okay cool all right let's get the ranger speaking of such to add task fix that fix this uh then if they can fix a bunch of other stuff fix this too uh fix anything you can while you uh while you have the money there you go and anything over here i guess everything is good see i don't know it looks like they didn't get assigned, like they got unassigned here or something? No, that, no, now all those icons just went away. That's so weird. Either way, it might have been because that ranger's right there driving by, and now he just checked up on the uh, the ranger post, right? So that must be what that was. But either way, I don't know where the Velociraptor is. Is it dead? Is it injured? Oh, wait, oh, is that? Oh, there he is right there, yeah. Is he run? Yeah, he requires a status check. He's hunting down goats, but the T-Rex is hunting down him. He's in the background there. All right, well, I don't know. I can't, oh, oh, is this now another goat? No, I don't think so, not yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of hoping that the heckin' T-Rex kills the Velociraptor, just because I'm like, golly, that Velociraptor's caused so much havoc, and it's going to help out a T-Rex with a ton of uh, infamy rating, right? If that's still how it works. Anyways, let's place this about right there, and we can place this Ranger team, because they're not they are not even doing anything, they're not assigned to anything. Let's place you right there, and I guess uh, assign you over here, too. There you go. And repair this while you're at it, and this, and that, and that. Oh, wait, uh, let's get another. Which one is it? Ranger team, this one. Repair this, and this. Golly, a lot of things got damaged during that. I didn't think that much stuff would get damaged, but I guess, uh, guess that's it? I guess we're good now. Oh wait, no, oh my gosh, all this stuff got damaged over here too. Are you kidding me? Or it's like out of power or whatever? All right, let's get you, repair this, there you go. Yeah, we're probably missing a lot of money, you guys, from that being down. So anyways, let's get everything repaired. I'm like, we're still making some money? Yeah, we're making pretty good money, 181,000. That's really good, you guys. And we're still at three stars right now. I don't know how, but we are. Three out of five. I don't know how these guys are cohabitating right now. Yeah, shared with Velociraptor. He dislikes them. He only likes Compi, so we could hunt him down. 
no ailments, no comfort, all the kind of stuff. And he's a stats check. We need to get the Rangers over here to check up on him. So Ranger Chi, Ranger Team. Which one is it? The Ranger Response Facility 3? I guess it's this one. There you go. Check up on him. There you go. Check up on... Uh, yeah, you're assigned to that. So there you go. Check up on that. Anyways, uh, so we're actually making money right here, which is good. About 22,000 from each one. That's really good. They're all at capacity too, so I might want to modify them a little bit. To see if they'll uh, allow more people, but... I think that should be fine. I don't know if I'll end up getting another uh, paleo medical facility and putting it over here. I might have to do that. Uh, yeah, I can get another. I can get a third heckin' response team, you guys. It's crazy. Uh, I might just get another one over here. Yeah, it's going to be outside of bounds of the. Uh, oh wait, no, it can, it can go like right here and it's getting powered by the. Yep. Cool. All right. Is it getting powered by the electrical fence? Cause it kind of move that right there. I don't know. Either way, that still needs a path for some reason, even though it's like actually touching. But uh, there you go. Cool. And I guess we're good to go now, huh? So now we have two paleo medic facilities, two ranger, two two response res response team. As a, and then uh, speaking of response, hopefully they're going to check up on said T Rex here in just a minute. See how he's doing over here. Oh, well, he's at 100% comfort apparently. So yeah, he's missing four. So what? Can we just take care of? Yeah, he's at 27% now. Man, or is that even more? Uh, lip, lip, lip. I think he's at still at 29. There you go. 30. Yeah, add, add, add as much force as possible. There you go. As much as possible. 34. There we go. That's a little bit over, so that's good. That's going to hopefully cover it. But there's the Velociraptor, right? Oh! Velociraptor is attacking the Jeep. Is the T-Rex going to attack the Velociraptor, though? He's right there. Looking for food. There's food right there behind you. What are you doing? Oh, oh, oh. Does he see? Oh. Does he know? Does he see the Velociraptor? Oh, my gosh. No, I can't hide that, I don't think. I think he sees him. I think he sees the Velociraptor, you guys. He's going to pounce. Oh, look at him, look at him, look at him. Roaring and everything, too? Oh, my gosh. This is going to be crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, he just he's just trying to scare him? I thought he was going to heck an attack. Guess not. Not yet. They're actually cohabitating right now. Or co- co-, co whatever. <laughs> I might have gotten it right the first time. But uh, I guess we're good. Okay. Increased number of guests in the park. Uh, we're at 1266 out of 1500. Are we, are we limited right now? I might need to change that other hotel if, if that's the case, like add capacity or whatever, right? Yeah, 1344 potential guests. Uh, so I, I guess, yeah, 1344, yeah, see, we're, we're pretty close to max out, so I think I need to go move that other hotel or like upgrade it or whatever, which I guess just means demolishing it and then building the large one here, right? Yeah, I think that's, that's what I'm going to have to do, so uh, demolish that bad boy. Probably need to move this building a little bit too, just to make a little bit of room for it. So demolish, oh, whoops, that's transport. Demolish that. Lip. There you got rid of that. And we have money. We have 500. Now. Hopefully we have money. For that. <laughs> Should have checked that beforehand, right? Yeah, 375. Yeah, we can do that. Large hotel. At least out right here. I'm like, it's, it's about the same size, so. I'm kind of surprised by this. Now, once that building is done being demolished, hopefully I can slip this in about right here, because, like, basically the same heckin' size. Like, look at that. It's, it's taking up the same footprint here. I'm like, if anything, I could always push back this gate right here. It's not that big of a deal. And, uh, I'm sp I, the heck it's speed is still okay. Okay. Now it's finally finishing up the de demolition, right? Golly. Wish it got rid of it immediately, but I guess it's a little bit more realistic, which is cool. Uh, obstructed by hatchery, medium. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. There we go. Holy heck. It worked. How in the world did that happen? <laughs> that was amazing. Whoops. Oh, I guess we put a large pathway right there. Didn't we? Holy heck. All right. F oh my gosh. Fence broken. What? Did the Velociraptor escape? I think it did. Oh, it did. Oh man, I knew it. Yeah, why can't I heckin' sell the Velociraptor, though? That's what I want to know. Like, I knocked it out and it wouldn't let me sell them for some reason. Can you just not sell Velociraptors? That'd be kind of a weird thing if so. But, uh, yep, there you go. And, uh, let's go to Rangers. Yes, yeah, if I hit Ranger, it just pulls up Rangers, which I, I guess it pulls it up whatever's the closest one? Okay, yeah, see, I'm over here now, it's pulling up Ranger Facility number one, and then over here it's pulling up, okay. That's good. I was about to say, like, do I, do I have to manually cycle between it all the time or what? But I guess we're fine right now, right? So there you go. Yeah, he's on. He's 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 escaped. He's running around. Oh man, profit and all that kind of stuff grew by twenty two percent. Let's open up this shelter specifically. We don't need to open up all of them, just this one specifically. And then uh, hopefully they can knock him out. Look at him moving around. Look at him moving around. Oh oh, nice. He got him right there. Nice. Okay okay. <laughs> Close the shelter. There we go. Okay good good good. Spend the money and let's get him out of here. Can I just sell him now? Yeah, I still can't sell him. What? All right. I guess I'll put him in his own enclosure over here again. I guess I'll start making some more Velociraptors, right? Let's see, a synthesized dinosaur. I guess I have to do that. Yeah, man. 
Yeah, population one. Yeah, we need to get him uh, another one. Let's modify genome, see what we can do with him. I need to actually start researching more gene genome modification stuff. Guess we'll do long lived. I'm like, we could only do one modification anyway. Skin color, same thing there. Pattern unavailable. So there you go. 236,000. That's cheap. Uh, we can afford that right now, which is great. So we need uh, this. So let's get you. There you go. Cheaper research. Uh, I don't even know who that is, but hey, there you go. He's getting the job done, which is good. 767 people in the park right now, so we're down quite a lot, but hopefully, hopefully with the new hotel over here, it's going to go right back up because I think I think removing that other hotel might have reduced our maximum capacity. Is that what happened? That might have been what happened. Uh, whoops, I clicked on the same thing twice right there. No, it's still 13 something right there. Guess whatever. I don't know. Pretty sure hotel has something to do with that, but maybe we could build a third large hotel somewhere. So if we have one there, we have one. Oh, wait, yeah, we have one here, too. Yeah. I guess we can get rid of that and put a large one there, and then maybe we'll put another large one over here or something like that. Maybe put it on the water. That'd be kind of crazy. I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, more Dilophosaurus is over here getting injured and stuff constantly. <laughs> Golly, am I really so- Oh, never mind, he's dead. <laughs> okay, there you go. That's going to be an easy way to get rid of him, right? Golly. There you go. Uh, then Velociraptor over there is getting moved over here. Okay, that's good. This one's going to be done in about 14, 10 seconds. Then hopefully the other one... Oh, man, he's about to get dropped. Okay, okay. Velociraptor batch is ready. Select eggs. Select all of them, sure. We're going to have six of them, or five of them here. Uh, now I... Oh, man, I need a lot of money for that, though. Let's just get one more. If I can just get one more, which is 450000 we could still not afford that, though, but... Long-lived fit. Uh, intolerant. Okay, maybe this one's the better one to get. Okay, so there you go. Let's wait until we have the money for this, though. But at least it's in his own enclosure. Might want to actually start uh, researching, like, higher... Like, like durability enclosures that, that are higher tier enclosures than the one we have right now, right? Because these electrical fences or whatever that we have right now, they're okay. It's just that they're not good enough for the heckin' Velociraptors and stuff. They keep escaping. Uh, so where is he? I need to keep my eye. There he is right there. I need to keep my eye on him so I know where he is. But he's expanding the territory over here. All right, 376,000. We need to hit 450,000, I believe, right? Then we can incubate. And then a vehicle under threat. I don't know where, but uh, it's probably the loft source area over there or something like that. I don't know. And okay, okay. We should be able to do it now, right? 457. I think it's 450,000. Select eggs. Yeah, 450,000. Okay. So let's get... Who is it? You. Okay, cool. Generalist. Okay, whatever. Let's get that done. Then uh, we'll release him. And then we'll have a friend. And it's just going to be the two of them. And then maybe uh, over time, we'll be able to bring... Oh, vehicle under threat now. Golly. <laughs> but maybe over... Oh, man. It's the T-Rex back there doing the... It is the T-Rex back there doing the damage to the, uh, to the Jeeps. Golly. Oh, whoa. And he's taking a rest right next to the heckin' hotel. That's insane right there, you guys. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're at four stars almost? Oh, my gosh. We're at three, almost four stars right there, you guys. 1,300 guests in the park right now. Hold on. I want to see. We can have up to 1,499, you guys. We almost have that done. Oh, my gosh. All we need to do now is just get more dinos, which is just going to increase our star rating any more. It's just going to increase our star rating more anyways. Uh, then we'll basically have this all done. Like, everything in there just goes hand in hand, right? So anyways, this is about 40-something more seconds. Hopefully the Velociraptor isn't trying to escape or anything like that. Okay, I see him back there. We have about 30 more seconds. As long as he's not trying to escape, we're good. Because once we, we can release this other Velociraptor, he should have his, like, population or whatever rating good. And therefore his comfort good. Okay, release dinosaurs. Boom. <sighs> Alright. Let's release the second Velociraptor. Look at that guy. Very surprised though, earlier on, I'm surprised that the T-Rex didn't end up uh, hunting down that Velociraptor. He just roared at it and then just turned around. So I guess it's kind of good that he didn't kill him because now we have two Velociraptors now, right? Yeah, missing forest. I'm like, he's going to discover the, the forest here in just a minute. He just got out of there, right? So he should be fine right now. Yeah, we have 1389 guests, six uh, different species right now. So yeah, that kind of incentivizes, hey, you need to go on more expeditions, whatnot, try and get more species, uh, get more variations and whatever else. Pack a rhinosaur, wait, what? Oh, I need more money for that, man. Shrew the Amimus, uh... Wait, what is that? Oh, you know what? Someone did comment saying if you look at the top right corner, I'll zoom in, you can actually get a little bit of a, a, a hint, a little bit of a sneak peek of what type of critter this is. So this is indeed uh, an Ankylo-type critter here, which is cool. I don't remember, because I know some of the Ankylo-type critters didn't like high population, like, areas. Like, like, like... You need to move them into, like, lower population areas. Like, they don't like being with, like, 20 other dinos or something like that, right? Didn't we have a problem with that with the, uh... Like, during the main campaign, the regular campaign or something like that? I think so. But, yeah, we, we can go over there and get them. And then, uh, I don't know, I kind of want to wait until we get more money. Then Myasaura. Yeah, that looks like... 
I guess it's like a parasaur type thing or like an iguanodon looking thing. You can't really tell too well from that little outline there. And then, yeah, uh, well, that's Triceratops. We can see that clearly. That's already completed. And then Triceratops. Well, this one. Oh, it flashes between the two different creatures there. OK, cool. So that's what happens when you have two different creatures on that thing. And then we have a Styracosaurus and Shrew the Amiosaurus. We already have Shrew the Amiosaurus. Oh, wait, yeah, Shrew the Didn't they die over here? I think they did. Then a Patasaurus and Dryosaurus. Yeah, one of them is a Sauropod. The other one is another. It looks like a like a Gallimimus looking. Yeah, 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 we, yeah, I remember that, yeah. So I guess we can go. Yeah, you know what? Let's go here. A Patasaurus and Dryosaurus. Let's get some progress over there, you guys. Faster, uh, which one was it? Faster Expeditions. Papa Costa. Boom. Noise. All right. And I don't know if we could actually have another expedition right now. Yeah, we can't do it right now, I don't think, right? Uh, especially because we won't have any money. Uh, wait. Yeah, 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 we need more expedition teams, which I don't think we can do right now, right? Uh, let's see, Staff Center. Yeah, Expedition Center, yeah, it only lets you do one right now, unfortunately. I don't know if we could actually upgrade this to have multiple teams here. Storm Defense Improved Yield. I guess we'll do this Improved Yield, so there you go. I can't do another uh, slot right there, unfortunately. I believe we could do another upgrade over here to the Science Center. Right? Oh, wait, you didn't even do one in the first place. Extraction capacity, fossil storage, storm defense. Uh, I'm like, all these are super expensive right now. I can't afford any of them. And it's starting to rain right now. But thankfully, it's not a full-on storm, which is good. So how's our money right now? We're uh, 176000 Not bad. Could be better, though. Uh, but, you know, it, hopefully when we get more and more guests. We're at 1388 1395 right now. Get more guests. Hopefully spending more money. I should probably just figure out, like, where, where all of our money is, like, like all of our expenses has come from, right? Like upkeep per minute, 500,000. Income per minute, 725,000. So that's pretty good there. Ticket sales and all that kind of stuff there. Golly, that's crazy. But uh, these are the, the spending here, expenses and stuff, yeah. Dinosaur. I'm like, yeah, I spent a lot on dinosaurs lately, so that's what that is right there. And then environment. Yeah, I spent, yeah, getting the environment for the T-Rex, all that kind of stuff. So hopefully expenses is going to, is going to level out here in just a minute because I'm not going to be making any more dinosaurs, at least not a huge amount of them. Probably just going to get a couple of the Amiamises and... Maybe a Padasaurus, like one of them or something like that. And a uh, Dryosaurus, stuff like that. I get that. And that'll basically be it. And hopefully we have enough money to ac extract all those fossils, which I tried to do right there. And it just heck, and exited immediately. That was kind of weird. <laughs> Whoops, that was the wrong button. Uh, let's go to this. And yeah, you know what? Stuff, stuff like that. I should probably start extracting like the money first. And then uh, there's the Apatosaurus. There's a Dryosaurus. I'm, I think we're going to go for a Apatosaurus if we can. And uh, no, we can't. Yeah, we only have a Dryosaurus for the other uh, fossils there. So that kind of sucks. Man. All right, well, let's get these fossils going right here. I guess we'll skip out on this tier three right there. And then science scientists, who are we going to do for this? We need to, we need to let them rest. They're starting to get uh, pretty high right now. Let's let you. There you go. Uh, but their unrest is getting kind of high right there. Not the other thing. I'm not I'm not getting demonetized over here, YouTube. Golly. <laughs> but anyways, I've had a source dry source. That should bring up to eight out of ten dinosaur species in the park. So that's going to be great. Copies, I believe we still have them. And I think, yeah, didn't didn't we lose a trike? I thought I thought we lost a Triceratops earlier. Yeah, see, he's lonely. Okay, yeah. Let's get another Triceratops. Let's get another a friend. Because we lost one, I think, during a storm or something like that. So that's why I kind of, kind of got to... Uh, and I don't know, maybe Star Echosaurus. We need to make another another uh, herbivore area or something like that for the Star Echosaurus. But Triceratops, let's get another one of these guys. Modify genome. See if we can get them like, longer living or whatever here. Yeah, long lived. We have a couple modifications we could do there. 75% chance right there. So let's try it out. $201,000 to do this. We could do that, no problem. Let's go here. And I guess we'll use, let's see, people who aren't too overworked. Yeah, let's get you and you. Oh, I need seven. Ooh. Uh, well, at least I can get three, so there you go. <laughs> All right, you guys take care of that. And then I need I need to start uh, giving people rests here in just a minute, which uh, is probably going to be right now, actually. Let's see. A few scientists. Who Who is? Yeah, Thacker. Yeah, he's one of the newer guys. Yeah, cheaper research. Okay, yeah, I definitely want to remember that for him. So rest. Then a uh, Awolobo. Uh, once I can afford it, you're going to get a rest as well. But I think because we have this menu open, it's technically paused in the background. And 75,000. 104. Okay, perfect. You scientists, let's give Awolobo a nice rest. Ba-boom. And then Coley's going to get a rest here in just a minute, too. Uh, Coley, let's give you a rest, too. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. And then this person up here, Gaza. I'm just going to call you Gaza. Gaza Wee? That's probably how you pronounce it. Gaza Wee. Uh, give you a rest as well because you're pretty high up there, too. 52,000. Let's wait till we hit 75,000 and then we're good to go. 85,000. Okay, perfect. And rest. Okay, awesome. Everyone down here is fine. I don't, I don't think we have to worry about that just yet. We're at uh, still just under 1,400 people in the park, but that should start going up. Oh, new Triceratops is ready to go, you guys. Let's select the eggs. Okay, so how many How many is good? 30% expected lifespan. I like that. Let's get that. Oh, that's 350,000. That's a lot of money. I think it's fine with two, so I might just get the one. 
And we have aggressive, weak, weak, docile. Ah, I like that. I like that too. 700,000 if I, if I try and do that though. Hmm. 197. We, I'm like, if I wait a little while, we might be able to afford two of them. Let me, let me check up on the other uh, trike. Let me see. Uh, where is he? Is that him? Yep, there he is right there. Sleeping. He's lonely though. Uh, yeah, see, it looks like he's fine at two. But I think I'm going to give him three, just in case. Cause, especially because he's he's got to be pretty old himself. The other one, I'm pretty sure the other one died of old age, so he's probably getting up there too, unfortunately. So, yeah. Uh, oh, wow, we're at 1,451 people, you guys. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. I haven't even released the Triceratops yet. But uh, we're at 100 and... Oh yeah, I'll speed through this. 150,000 vehicle under threat. <laughs> yeah, um, I might just wait until uh, 700,000, just because I feel like that one's just about to die here pretty soon, so... I feel like uh, just waiting. Oh, and yeah, these guys are getting kind of low on their stuff, so let's take care of uh, yeah, a little bit of fuel. Don't need to do a full resupply or anything like that. Yeah, see, look at that. We're at 471,000. We're at 1,500 people with the parts. This is amazing. And I still need to uh, to replace that with a large hotel right there. It's going to give us more capacity. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And we're at 588 right now still, yeah. So as long as that keeps going up, we're going to get another trike out here, which isn't going to change our total dinosaur species. We're going to get the Apatosaur. Oh, yeah. Uh, hold on. Let me actually check up on those fossils. I might want, might want to go on another expedition here in just a minute. Uh, oh yeah, that's Dryasaurus right there. Yeah, how, I need to look into that. Oh yeah, this he's not a viable genome just yet either, so yeah. My, oh, and we can afford the, uh, the the two trikes right now. Hold on, let's pause. We're at 701,000, just barely over enough. So there you go, it's like, hey, so let's assign scientists to these guys. Uh, thankfully, we just got a lot of scientists nice and rested up, uh, which doesn't even matter, because I guess we'll just use you and... You, okay, yeah, sure. Awesome. And let's unpause. And let's wait a little while. And then we'll get uh, that other... I think it was 50,000 or whatever right there, right? To process that last fossil for the uh, for the Dryasaurus. Yeah. And then we'll get this guy as a viable genome. Which isn't going to happen while that is open. Because, uh, okay, there you go. 73,000. There you go. <laughs> yeah, see, it pauses the game whenever you have this menu open over here. So, there you go. And let's get... Mm, I don't need, Everyone's overqualified that I want to choose. So, eh, whatever. It's fa faster synthesis. Who's the one that's faster... Uh, I thought it was someone that did faster fossils or something like that, but maybe we fired them or something. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, oh wow, yeah, look at that. We're at four and like a quarter, eh, about four and like an eighth star right there. That's really good, you guys. Next star is at a million income per minute. Ooh, so that's how we get that star right there. Alongside getting full of guests and stuff, I'm sure, huh? Yeah, interesting. But yeah, bringing in more guests, or uh, getting, getting more dinos, that's going to bring in more guests just naturally, right? So shouldn't have to worry about that too much, right? So either way. Uh, we're at three stars right now. We're definitely going to go up to four stars again. Oh, yeah, we're at four right now, but he must have went down just a little bit. We do have uh, two dinos ready to go, right, guys, so let's release these two trikes. The new generation of Triceratopses. Going to cohabitate with the existing Triceratops. Give him a little bit of company in his final days of life. Absolutely majestic. Look at those guys roaring through the blades of grass and everything, too. Look at that. <laughs> I wish I could change their skins and stuff like that, but I, I don't have the research to do that just yet, so that kind of sucks. Uh, but anyways. Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Better not be attacking anyone. Missing ground fiber. I'm like, just just start discovering all the... Yeah, see, look at that. Now it, he's panicking right now. <laughs> His comfort's uh, pretty good right now. Let's see, let's check this. Forest. Yeah, just start going over there, and you'll see all the ground fiber. All... Yeah, see, look at that. Boom. So it looks like he's started discovering it. So that's good. So, we're at uh, 1,500 guests out of 1,500 that we need. We currently actually have 1,600 out of the 1,700 we can have. So that's good. Definitely makes sense to, to start replacing that. Might might move this emergency so emergency a shelter. Might move this while we don't have any current emergencies going on, right? So there you go. Uh, that way we can make room for a bigger hotel. And boom, new viable genome, just like I said, Dryasaurus. Okay, so let's go on another expedition out to wherever that was. Dryasaurus and Apatosaurus. There you go. And let's continue getting... Okay, let's see. Uh, Papa Costa. Ooh. Yeah, I, I think we can do one more expedition with her. And then, and then she's unrested, right? I don't think we're able to do it uh, afterwards. I think something. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if we ever try to do anything with someone while they're unrested. Maybe they just won't work at that point, right? That's probably what's going to happen, honestly. But anyways, we're at four stars right now. Still, we're we're still getting close to that five stars. I think I got a comment from someone, probably like ten episodes or something like that by now, <laughs> asking, "Hey, are you going to do five stars for each like scenario or whatever?" And I guess I am because it seems like that's like the main objective. Of, uh, of, of this chaos theory right now. It's getting five stars on this, just like in the first game, which is really, really cool. So anyways, I guess we'll get rid of this hotel right here. Uh, once we have the money, I'm going to wait until we have $350,000. Then I'll uh, demolish this. Then, uh, you know, it, I, I think the large hotel also has a bigger visibility, so that's going to help out quite a bit. 
to uh to get some rating up see the velociraptors and whatnot right then i'm kind of also thinking of putting another one over here if i really need to but we're at seven hundred something thousand dollars right now per minute we need to get up to a million dollars per minute if i need that extra capacity I, that's something i'll have to consider here in the future like i said maybe i'll put it over by where that lake is or whatever oh we're at 426 okay okay cool so let's uh demolish this it's gonna take a little while to do that though so let's do that and then let's go to guests and large hotel okay there you go might want to start doing some research as well for us for some other stuff that might help us out at least in the long run right maybe make things a little bit easier just like we did with the uh the weather oh the, yeah to do the weather wait what Tri triceratops are fighting each other again what man now they're injuring each other too golly that's terrible ah all right well and uh, that okay that's done finally okay good so there you go place out there get a path to go and like so cool all right so where's this injury at Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, injured concussion, golly. I think I think that's one of them. You have to do uh, capture team, right? I think so. Yeah, I think that's what that broken bone symbol is right there, right? I think if it's a broken bone, you need to take him into the uh, paleo medical facility. But if it's like a little like a lightning bolt, I guess, I guess that means he's he's fine. He can get healed up by the paleo or the mobile vet mobile vet unit. I think that's what that means. I'm not 100,000 billion percent sure though. <laughs> but anyways. Uh, let's see. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. Are the fossils ready? Are they back from the expedition? Because I know Papa Costa is really, really fast with her expeditions. I think so. Oh, yeah. She If, if she is back, she needs to go on a rest. So, go over here. View scientists. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Boom. Unassigned. Let's, let's give her a rest. Let's give you a rest as well. You and you. And everyone's pretty much rested up right now, which is really good. We should still have enough money and enough scientists left over to process those fossils. Oh, wow! A lot of ambers right here, you guys. Holy heck. Let's get the apatosaurus, though, because I feel like... They just make more sense because we already have uh, a creature kind of like the Dryosaurus already. So, you know, in the and we already have it as a viable genome already, too. So don't want to waste that time or uh, resources or whatever or both. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I guess we can just do that just, you know, so we could process everything at the same time. Right. So there you go. Science scientists should be able to do that. Only 50,000. Not that big of a deal. As gay you. Cool. A Woolowo. Yeah, like, yeah, I think a Woolowo. I think he was the guy that uh, did the fossils. Right. Or like the research or something like that. I forget uh, specifically. But either way. Speaking of research, someone someone gives us a, a perk for like cheaper research, right? Gene modification. I don't know. It, it seems relatively late into that, but at the same time, that could help us out getting appeal rating and therefore getting more money. Enclosures, yeah, something like this to get. Uh, oh wow, Pisophore feeder. Right? That's locked right now. Large electrified fence. So we have. Uh, I guess we have small electrified fence right now. I guess we can get a medium. I guess it makes sense. Eventually, just start uh, replacing all the fencing with the medium, and then I guess eventually larger than heavy fence. Kind of will put that where the Velociraptor and a T Rex are, right? Uh, I guess the, the Lava Sword, that's probably going to get away with medium. I don't think they need large. Large probably makes sense for the herbivores, though, just because they're physically large, right? And then power over here. I don't know if I'll get anything over here, though. Improved power distribution alternative, then basic technology upgrade. Small, small power substation increased output. Large. Oh! Nah, man, that might be pretty good. It's 500,000 to actually get that upgrade, though, but. We have a lot of uh, scientists kind of busy right now. Hold on. They uh, they knock out the guy. Uh, oh, yeah, they did. Okay, good. So let's pick you up. Go take you over to the paleo medical facility. Boom. I don't know which one would be cheap or uh, closer, though. Oh, man, we can't do it right now. Ooh. Yeah, our scientists are kind of, uh, yeah, staff not assigned. Transport anyways. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. I didn't know we could do that. We could just transport them anyways. So transport them, and then whenever he gets there, hopefully some of the scientists are going to be, you know, well-rested, done with whatever they're doing right now. And then they could work on the trike that's kind of uh, got a concussion or whatever, right? That's going to hopefully be pretty good, you guys. Anyways, uh, oh, yeah, speaking of uh, such, we have one of them that just finished up right there. Treatment pending, so how do I actually check that? So if they're going to drop off the trike right here, yeah, there's the trike. <laughs> the giant trike. He's kind of bloodied up, too, yeah. And then once he's there... Okay, so so what do I do now? I was, okay, here we go. I can assign scientists now. Okay, cool. So uh, let's get you and you. Okay, cool. Yeah, that, that, that should be fine. There you go, start task. Awesome. So, oh, new viable genome. I was just about to say, I want to go check up on the fossils. See how those are doing. Looks like they just finished up. That's good. So, uh, let's get all these. Oh, I can't, man. Uh, I can only do two, which is, yeah, that one right there. Okay, whatever. Uh, that's Dryosaurus. Dryosaurus. Yeah, okay, these are all dry. Okay, whatever. It is currently, it's going to get a plus 22 on its whatever right there. Okay, eh, I guess we'll continue on. So, there you go. Sure, help them out. I don't know if I'll go on. I guess I will, yeah. I, th I think the thing I was kind of stopping us just a minute ago was uh, Papa Costa was uh, resting up. Yep, there you go. Take, uh, oh, wait, a Wolowo. Can you go out there? Oh, we can. Okay, let's take a Wolowo out there. I think Papa Costa's still resting right now, right? I think that's what that is right there. That might be Papa Costa. 
Oh yeah, see four of them just finished right there. Cool. All right. Well, uh, we have we still have fifteen hundred people in the uh, park right now, which is really good. Making two hundred thousand dollars a minute, which is it's okay, but we need we need even more than that, right? We're at uh, sound at fifty five thousand. We need to get up to a million to get the five stars. So to do that, we could either drop our expenses, which I don't know if. <sighs> Okay, I, I don't have any, like, in the first game, you were able to control, like, the price of food and the price of gifts and all that kind of stuff. In this, I don't think you can do that. You can't actually, like, say, oh, I want a, a doll of a T-Rex or whatever to cost, like, this much money. Yeah, see, look at that. We're losing money here, unfortunately. That sucks. Man. Probably, oh, hey! Transmission incoming. And park ratings at four and, like, a quarter star there again. 760,000 income per minute, plus 15% on last month. So, you know, a little bit of growth right there. Can't complain too much. Amenity running costs and scientist wages. Yeah, see, when we have more scientists, they just cost a little bit more. But to all this other stuff over here is really making a lot of money and therefore adding up to that 760,000, right? Golly, that's good. Really good stuff. But remember, we still have only uh, six out of the 10 species. So once we get the Apatosaurus and the Dryosaurus going, which I might, should I just get started right now? I might. I might, yeah. And then the Apatosaurus, I, I kind of want to see. Let's see, Dryosaurus, does it say. Oh, well, it says all that stuff right there, which is cool. So you can see all the ground fiber, all that kind of stuff. Okay, yeah, Sora, okay, likes sauropods, likes ankylosaurs, and uh, stegos, dislikes Dr. Wu hybrids, patasaurus, likes ceratopsid. I love that. Okay, that's good. Uh, does not like other sauropods, though. Okay, and Indominus Rex. Okay, so it, it looks like it's going to be good with stegosaurus, pachycephalosaurus, which I don't know if they're available on the map right now. I guess we'll check. Hadrosaurus. Uh, ankylosaurs, uh, triceratops type things right there, and ornithom. I think that's the Gallimimus thing right there, right? So that's good that they're all going to be friendly with each other. That's kind of what I wanted to check just a second ago. So that's good. I guess we'll check up on this. Likes copy, likes an uh, ankylos. Doesn't like, okay, so we cannot put stegos in there if we have triceratops, which I don't know if we uh, even can have tri. Well, the trike also doesn't like carnivores, but the copies are in there, so I don't know. That's true, the Omimus. Yeah, good with sauropod, good with ankylo, good with stego. Stegosaurus. It likes Ankylo, but doesn't like other Stego and Ceratops. Just like the Shrike. Ooh. There's a lot of there's a lot of balance that you have to do here to try and figure out, like, ooh, okay. This enclosure is gonna have all these people or all, all these dinos, because they all like each other, right? Kind of have to weigh and balance that. But right now, I guess we'll just get the Apatosaurus. Modify genome. We could actually make him. He's only like 220 something. You kind of rev Ooh. Ooh, look at that pattern. Or, or skin color, that is. It's like kind of a teal with like brown like streaks where we could have it just like as pure teal there you know i'm going to keep it as this it's going to make him super interesting looking and let's give him a long life i'm like he's already going to have a long life as is because it's gigantic sauropod right but make him even longer life 236,000 assigned scientists let's get uh yep, yep, and there you go cool all right so apatosaurs are on the way i don't know if we can get the dry sources going i'm going to check though uh yeah yeah 12,000 that's, that's that's really cheap we could do that no problem and then yeah mangrove color mangrove forest color there I like the green, it kind of blends in a bit. Death Valley, I'm going to keep that. I like that. Blank pattern, I guess I can't do a pattern there. You can random it per egg, ooh. I'm going to random it per egg too, that's interesting. I'm going to keep it as that. And then, uh, let's see, make their long life or whatever, because I don't have any other modifications unlocked over here anyways, right? So, save and exit, then uh, assign scientists over here. And perfect, we have exactly what we need, or who we need, to start synthesizing the, uh, the dry sources, cool. All right, so uh, trike treatment is complete, that's good. So let's transport you back out to... Where are they? Those are parasaurs. There's another one right there. Where are the trikes at? Oh, they're over here. Okay, drop you off about right there. Okay, cool. So hopefully they don't move by the time you actually get dropped off, right? But I know, let's see how much money we're getting now. We're at uh, 782. It is, it's going up. It's going up slowly. But uh, I'm like, then again, we haven't really done too much since we last checked. But now we're, we're getting a lot of things done. We're getting two more species going to go up to 8 out of 10. It's going to help us out quite a bit there. Might go on another expedition here in just a bit, which, speaking of such, we're uh, 50 seconds on the Morrison Foundation. Yeah, I don't know. I, I should probably cancel that, because we're already making them right now anyways, right? I don't know. Should I cancel this right now? Should I can- can I- can I even cancel it? Yeah, I could discard- I could discard them. So I'd, lo I'd lose the money. Batch size, six. We got five eggs there. One. Mmm. Yeah, see, we, the fossils just came in. Oh, we didn't even get that much. So we, yeah, so we just got more Dryosaurus right there. Eh, I'm, I'm going to keep them. I don't, I don't think it's that big of a deal, right? So, anyways, uh, let's get you to take care of all that. Cool. So, yeah, let's get the Apatosaurus. Let's select the egg. I'm like, we don't have a choice there, so let's just select the egg. Science scientists, yep, 450,000 to take care of this. And let's get you and you. 
Okay, cool. Start that task, and then for the Dryasaurus, are we going to be able to select all of them? No, just just barely not. Let's wait a second. One twenty-five thousand. Boom. One hundred fifty-four. Okay, perfect. And now we could actually select all of them. But do we have the, enough scientists for this? Oh, yep, yep, yep. We do. We could just get uh, Gaza we Gaza we to take care of this. Cool. So there you go. Fifty seconds until the Apatosaurus is ready. And that's going to hopefully jump up our money and uh, appeal rating, a star rating, all that kind of stuff. Hopefully, it's going to jump up all that. 